Today I'm going to talk about how to build a Python program that will actually read in an 837 data file and also produce an output file. Now the input file will be a wrapped 837 file and what that means is that the 837 file coming in will not have any carriage returns and line feeds. Um, that happens a lot of times uh, in the healthcare market uh, uh, in an EDI data file. Um, and so this program is going to be a tutorial on how to do Python input output and at the same time it's also going to be a tutorial uh, on working with data using Python uh, and then we'll get to actually adjudicate the claim, the 837 claim that we produce and then also uh, produce a remittance 835 and a 277CA claim status. So um, with that in mind uh, we can just go ahead and jump in um, to what we're going to be programming with. Now I'm using um, the uh, I guess you might say that one of the preferred uh, environments, which is PyCharm. And um, so let's just jump in and we'll start looking at this language here. One of the first things that you'll notice when you start working on uh, Python is that it is case sensitive. So uh, when I start off here, I'm actually going to build uh, a, mit a function that will help me pull a string, a substring, out of the middle of another string. So I'm going to type it in like this. And you notice I put a colon at the end of that. Um, this is kind of like a, if you're working in other programming languages, that's like a if-then sort of scenario. But that colon uh, will tell Python that it, the following statements belong to you know, this function. Um, so what I'm going to do here is if my length is less than 1, then return nothing. Else, return and And I think that should do it. So uh, we've defined this uh, string extraction program or function, and uh, I'm going to put that at the top of my program. One other thing that you might want to learn if you're going, if you're new to Python, you can use a hash sign um, to show the top of the program or to show comments. I'm just going to do that so you can see that. I think probably one of the things that we want to do next is probably let's define some variables. So I'm going to make a hash sign and let's say define variables. And I'm going to define one called jug. And I'll define another one called pan. I'm going to make this pan actually uh, binary. Now I'm doing this on purpose uh, because I want to show, because we're working with data, I want to show uh, how you can use binary strings and uh, regular strings. And so I'm going to include both of these in this example since we're dealing with data files. The next thing I'm going to do is open the file. Um, I've got a file called 837 underscore cu.txt and I'm going to open it as a read file that's binary. And I'm going to open it as file f. Now, with, um, with normally when you read in a, a read file with Python, you'll just actually um, use just, just the R like this. But since we're actually working on binary files, I'm going to use uh, a B, which means read the binary file. Book size equals 1. And I'm going to read in some information. And I'm going to set another variable. How about we include a length variable? Length 1 equals length of bucket. So um, what else do I want to do here? Um, <coughs> I am going to actually open the output file now. And what do we want to call this? 37 underscore, 837 underscore unwrapped version.txt. And I'm going to open that as a binary write file. SG. Again, you can see that I used the WB, W instead of just the B because it's binary. 
Also, I want to make another note. You can see that I'm using uh, the reserved word with. Um, you could just open the file in Python, <coughs> but as best practices, it's probably a, good, a better idea to use the word with because with this um, style, it will actually close the file for you if you forget to or if something goes wrong. And if you didn't use with open, then you have to make very careful or you have to be, be very careful, make sure that, uh, that you close the file when you exit or maybe if you exit unexpectedly. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to say um, while the length of bucket is greater than zero, then um, I'm going to check for our condition here. If mid of the bucket is not equal to an escape sequence, then go ahead and write it. And I'm going to have this variable called jug, and it's simply just going to, for this example, give me a, a copy of what I'm writing. And I'm going to save the length of the file, so I'm going to capture that here. Now, I want to put in another statement, because um, I want to add a character return line feed if... Um, if we find a segment terminator, and I'll explain that in just a second. If mid now remember we had this variable called pan, which was a binary uh, carriage return line feed right here. Okay. Um, if you were to look at like a regular data file, for example. Uh, an EDI file, it might look something like this. Um, it might say ISA asterisk. Actually, it might look like this. And we go all the way out to the end, and then you would, you know, you would have something that looked like this. So, if you're unfamiliar with EDI files, uh, they tend, they usually have terminators. Segment terminators, which is the tilde at the end, for example. It could be any character, but it's usually a tilde or an asterisk for an element separator. I'm not going to go over that in great length right now because um, I have some other videos on EDI. Right now, I just want to show you some file I.O. in Python. So we've written that uh, here. And then one more thing that we want to do, we want to make sure that um, we read another bit of information. Another byte, actually. If we don't do this, we're going to have an infinite loop, and we don't want that. Okay. So now we've read the file. Let's um. Uh, let's add a print statement. Um, file is just so we can see the file. And what's another one? Print file size is. No, just we have just so we have the file size and we can and take a look at that. Um, let me add one more other print statement in here because I want to show you the example of uh, a regular string being printed. Print um, input file name is plus file name plus. Now watch this. Notice this time I actually have a string here. Looks like we need to add a little print statement there. Then I need to know what the name of these files are. In Python, you can actually get the file name from this uh, file that you started. Just like this, f dot name. Now I'll give you the file name. I'm assigning it to file underscore name. I put file name. I'm going to assign that to g dot name. So now we have that. Okay. So now we have our Python file, and let's just take a quick look at it. We've opened up the, de the define statement. We define a uh, function here where we can take a string out of the middle, and we've set some variables, and then we've actually opened the file here, which uh, we're calling a37 underscore cu, and we've opened it as a binary read, 
we set the work size and then we uh, as one you can you could you could make this like you know much bigger like uh, almost 2000 for example on this uh, video i'm just going to make it one uh, because i'm checking characters for uh, for a, a segment terminator well, let's take a look at this and see how it works see how many errors that we can get okay it's telling me that we got a problem with 28 you know i think it would be better if we put uh, an equal sign on there so we'll add that and uh, now we got a problem on 33 it says that um, we got a syntax on 33 And that's because we looks like we've got a stray you know, quotation mark there. Okay, it looks like we've got the bugs out. And if we've done this correctly, then the output file is going to be in this file right here, 837 unwrapped. So let's take a look at that and see what we've got. Now this is what we just created. I'm going to open this with Notepad. And there we have it. See, now this is actually the file that we created. That's the output file. Now I'm going to open this one, the input file, and this was the input, whoops, sorry, this was the input file. You see how these two are different. This input file is wrapped and the output file is unwrapped. So we've got this file now, it's A37. Let's drop this into a claim adjudication system and adjudicate this claim and see what happens. Uh, if we've done this correctly, then we'll be able to um, get an A35 and an A37. I'm going to use the CAT claim adjudication system mainly because it's just very easy and quick to use. Uh, I'm going to import this file. This is the one we just created. I'm going to validate it. I'm going to adjudicate it. Then I'm going to create the A35 and the status. So when I pull up the GUI for this uh, A35, I'm going to go ahead and process it. And looky there, we have an A35 file, remittance file. Now that's a payment file. And it's all there. This is, this is really a, a wonderful application tool uh, system. It's actually a system. The CAT system uh, is great for both projects or um, live scenarios. Uh, certainly, if you want to create a model office, this is a great way to do that. And uh, the same is true here with um, the claim status. Uh, there's all your data. There's the 277CA. looks like we've got success here. And uh, this is the entire walkthrough for actually creating uh, an output file uh, in Python. And uh, in addition to creating that output file, uh, we've uh, unwrapped it and we've shown you, uh, you know, how to do some basic functions with Python, including the open command, uh, assigning variables. Uh, we use some uh, while statements and some if statements, and we've shown you some variations in print commands using both regular strings, like this with the quotation marks, and then also we've shown you how to use uh, binary uh, strings with the B in front of it. Uh, this will probably give you a pretty good idea of you know how to get started um, I'm using PyCharm by JetBrains if you need to know more about where to get that uh, let me know um, and I can send you that information or you can simply uh, get online and, and look it up yourself um, and that's pretty much the end of it um, if you have any questions uh, give me a call or send me a, a text on my channel I'd love to talk with you and uh, answer all your questions about Python or about processing claims or claim data with the cat uh, adjudication system thanks for watching my video mm -hmm.